Dr. Castillo. That's me. May I have your signature, please? <laughs> Am I hallucinating? I wish. Since when do you play messenger? Since I can't seem to get my old job back in this place. I've been volunteering at the clinic downtown, hoping my willingness to do menial labor will inspire someone, anyone, to speak on my behalf. Get the state board to reinstate my medical license. Ooh. In a perfect world, it would... Yeah, I know. The owner of the hospital would go to bat for me. Don't think I didn't try. Even came close to having a deal with Greenlee until she backed out at the last minute. Sorry. Don't be. Never get involved with a patient. Didn't I drum that into your head from day one? Do me a favor. Name it. Don't make the same mistake I did. When it comes to practicing medicine, no matter what the circumstances, do not let it get personal. When I brought up the drugs, it looked like, like you were about to say something like this isn't the first time you've heard of this. What I'm about to tell you could ruin my life. Stop me from ever practicing medicine again. Possibly send me to jail. Okay, right. What could you possibly tell me that, that could make all those things happen? I've been stealing drugs from the hospital. You've been stealing drugs? Not for me. Or to sell. I'm sending them to clinics in parts of the world that desperately need these medications that they can't afford. These are teenagers we're talking about here. Kids. And somebody at the hospital is selling them stolen painkillers. If you know something. Anything I say to you is confidential, right? <laughs> Did that really just happen? Uh, yeah, I think your stomach said, feed me. Yeah, the only <laughs> words it seems to know these days. Well, when's the last time you ate? I meant to eat breakfast. I'm sorry, you you meant to eat breakfast? No, 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 no. That is unacceptable, okay? Let's see. Um, here. Drink this. And I have to have something to eat around here. Let me see what I got. Hopefully anything other than crackers. Uh... Yeah, well, um... Looks like we're gonna go out. But I can't. What if Emma calls? Well, the only number she has is your cell phone, right? All right, we'll, we'll have it in front of us the whole time. Deal? Deal. You did a really good job hiding. I'm proud of you. Annie, Emma's not, not behind the sofa. What are you talking about, Ray? Of course she is. Come on out, sweetheart. Say hi to your daddy. When did you uh, see Emma last? Was she in the hotel with you? I would never leave my daughter alone. Okay. Stop it! Right. Stop it! I don't want to talk to you! Hey, it's Ryan Lavery. Look, we found Annie. She's at the Beacon Hotel, room 124, and Emma is not with her. No, believe me, we searched everywhere, okay? Get, get some of your guys over here now. Search the entire area, please, ASAP. And, and also, you gotta call Dr. Burke at Oak Haven, okay? Annie has completely and totally lost all sense of reality. She needs help. I was just trying to help. Help me? Is that a joke? No! No! You know what you should do? You should call Marissa and get her over here. You guys would make a sick tag team. The two little bitches who ruined my life.
You know you can trust me. And not only because I'm a minister, but because I'm your friend. And I give you my word that anything that we talk about, it stays between us. Of course. Of course, I know that. I, I, I shouldn't have even asked. No, you can ask me anything. You can tell me anything. I'm behind you no matter what, Kendall. So if there's something that you want to share about those hospital drugs... I, I don't know anything. I just... I feel terrible. I really do. I feel, I feel horrible. I, that, that was that look that you saw on my face. I just keep thinking about my own boys and, and how vulnerable they are. Uh, you know what? Um, I should go. I, I really should what? go. Wait, right now? Yeah, you know, I just, I just thought of something. Um, I, I thought of something that I could do that, that might help. So do you mind, um, do you mind if maybe we, uh, we talk a little later? Sure. Okay. That slime ball needs to be caught. Actually, I'm kind of surprised you're still here. I thought you'd be halfway across the globe by now. No, you and me both. But then Kara showed up, and the funding for the Miranda Center hasn't come through yet, so... So your plans are to stay indefinitely? No. Yeah, right. $20 says you're here for the long haul. Why do you say that? Are you kidding me? Your sister just married a Martin. If this place were a chocolate factory, they'd be the Oompa Loompas. What does that even mean? It means, according to them, they keep this place going. Pine Valley be nothing without those holier-than-thou imbeciles. Oh, I'm glad to hear you think so highly of my sister's family. No, oh, they're your family now, too, Doctor. I'm not setting down roots here. No, no, of course not. Whatever you say. Yeah, just don't be surprised when you find yourself hiding Easter eggs with Jenny and Kathy five years from now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll see. We'll see. So back to what we were originally talking about. I don't know if it'll make any difference, but I did put in a good word with the board. I told them that you taught me everything that I know. Well, I appreciate that. Can't hurt. You'll get your license back. Well, you sound very confident. You're an extraordinary doctor. I should know. It took a hell of a lot to surpass you. <laughs> well, it doesn't take much to surpass someone when they're in a coma. So get your license back already, even out the playing field. Well, unfortunately, it's not that easy. I made some mistakes. Hurt people. Yeah, well, you've helped a lot more. You saved lives, Dr. H. Don't let them take that away from you. I hope you don't mind us stopping by like this. No, you're always welcome. You know that. Thank you. AJ's just picking up a video game, and he's probably stopping and sitting down to play it. <laughs> Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, we had a great time. Yeah. It was weird, though. He didn't seem tired at all, which was strange since you said he uh, hasn't been sleeping well lately. That sounds like an accusation. Does it? Ryan, we have officers everywhere looking for Emma. We'll find her, okay? I just can't believe Annie let her out of her sight. Hey, Annie. How you doing? How do you think I'm doing? I want her out of here. Okay, okay. We can make that happen. But first, I need to ask you a few Just questions. Just get it okay. over with. Okay. I want her okay. out of okay. here. Okay. okay, that's fine. That's fine. When's the last time you saw your daughter? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Did you bring her here to the hotel? Of course with... I did. And where is she now? I, I don't know. I don't know where she is. Okay, Annie, I need you to help. I gotta get out of here. I, 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 I gotta get out of go, here. Go, I gotta go, go, go find go. Emma. I'll stay. I'll stay. I can't think right. Good, thank you. I, I don't think that's a very good idea. I'll be fine. Right. No, 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 no. If Emma comes back, she should see a friendly face. Okay, just call me if anything happens. Okay? I know you too. Okay, good luck. Good luck. Go. You want answers? You should ask whoa, whoa, whoa. her. You should ask her where Emma is because she's taking her. She's taking everything from me. <laughs> what the hell are you looking at? Hello. Madison, it's Ryan. Look, we, we found Annie. She's, she's at the Beacon Hotel. Is Emma with her? No. No, Emma is, is not, it's not with her, and Annie's so out of it. She has no idea where Emma is, and, and the cops are on it. But, like, I have a feeling that maybe Emma will contact you before we actually find her, and if she does, I just don't want her to be m more afraid than she already is, you know? If she calls, I won't miss it. Thank you. Thank you, Mass. Is that Ryan? Yeah, they found Annie, but Emma's still missing. Oh, sh she's gonna turn up, though. Yeah, she has to. Oh, perfect.
perfect timing. We were just talking about how to get David's license back. And that has to do with me how? Okay, Kendall, I know you two have had your issues. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. But I was hoping you could move past them, talk to the board. I mean, the guy did save your life. Yes, that's true. Multiple times. And think about how many more lives he could save. And look at him, he, he's, he's working his way from the bottom. Well, if anyone needs to pay dues, it's David. Really, Kendall? Wow. And you have none to pay? Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. It's just that residual pain from that old gunshot wound. Uh, can I talk to you a second? I'm already running late for the fundraiser. It's important. More important than getting my career back on track? Yes. Thanks for the signature. You're welcome. Okay, Kendall, we'll talk fast. I, I gotta put a suit on. Okay, apparently there's some drugs that were stolen from the hospital. Painkillers. Yeah. And people are starting to ask questions. What people? All I know is the stuff is being sold to kids. And it's being traced back to here. What? I'm just wondering why you had to come to me in the first place and tell me this in person. Well, maybe because I thought it was something that you should know. Or maybe it's because you think I'm the scum putting the drugs on the street. <clears throat> kind of defensive. But you weren't implying that I made up the whole AJ not sleeping thing to get you to move back in. No, no, I wasn't implying that. But? But I think you're trying to work it a little bit. You may call it working it. I call it looking out for AJ's happiness. AJ is our son, and he would be happier if we were together. But we're not together. We're divorced. You remember that part, right? Yeah, but Tad and Crystal made that work for years. Oh, yeah, and that's great for them, really. I mean, more power to them for making it work. But you don't think you can make it work with me? I think you're trying to make it work in a different way. And what way is that? The way where I move into the guest wing, and then suddenly your room gets damaged, and you have to move closer. Or the way where you suddenly wander into my bedroom one night. Oh, I like this story. Please continue. I know how you operate. Look, all I are. want is our family under one roof. Is that all you want? That's all I'm trying to get right now. Can't really control what you want. Why is she still here? You said you get rid of me. Why don't get we all me. calm get down? Get off me! Listen, Annie, Annie, you have the right You're to remain silent. You're arresting me! Anything you say can and You should be arresting her, her, not me! She is the one who destroyed everything! You destroyed everything! Any questions? You can afford this. Ow! You want something to eat? I'm good. You know, no offense, but you don't look good. I just want it to rain. I just want it to be Emma on the other line telling me that she's okay. I just want this whole nightmare to be over. I know, I, I know and, and it will be. <sighs> right now, Emma's alone, you know? She's probably terrified. She's just a little girl. Okay, anything? No, no, she, she hasn't called you yet? No. Oh, God. Oh, my God, this is Emma's. This is Emma! Emma, can you hear me? Thank God. Thank God I love you so much. I love you so much. 